wondering how much testosterone you should be taking, what dose you should be taking, etc. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, I'm going to share with you some ideas on how much testosterone you should be taking uh, and how often you should be taking it. So if this is something you're interested in, keep watching. We're all about helping you gain a deeper understanding of your health and what's going on with your body. Hopefully this video gets you a little bit closer towards that aim. I also wanted to point out that sometimes when I'm producing this content, uh, I get a statistic wrong or the name of something wrong, and almost always there's a corresponding blog article on our website, SW Integrated Medicine forward slash blog. You can find it there. Uh, those oftentimes go into a little bit more detail than the um, than the videos do as well. So please uh, check that out if you're interested. And um, it does take you know considerable effort to produce this content. So if you're liking the information, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you do have questions about any of the content, please ask it in the comment section uh, here or on the blog. Uh, that's why I'm producing the information for you to gain that deeper understanding. So ask the questions if you have them. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Let's get into it. Okay, so in this video, we're going to discuss testosterone dosing and dosage. So how much you take and how often. Um, so I get, I get this question a lot, you know, am I on the right dose? Should I be taking it more often? Um, things like that. And generally speaking, the dosage of testosterone is going to vary from one individual to the next. And it also depends not only on... Uh, the amount of testosterone that's in your blood, like the total, but the amount of bioavailable testosterone. So this is the distinction between free and total testosterone. So free testosterone is unbound. It has uh, nothing bound to it like sex hormone binding globulin or any under other proteins that may limit the uh, testosterone from binding to the testosterone receptor. So um, one person that has uh, 1500 total testosterone may get, you know, similar results as someone with 700 and may, the common denominator could be that they both have the same amount of free testosterone. So 100, 150, 200, something like that on the free testosterone. So your dosing should be reflective of what your free testosterone is and the same thing with your, uh, how careful you are with your estrogen because estrogen raises your uh, sex hormone binding globulin. So you have to control your estrogen and you have to be looking at the free testosterone to know how much testosterone you should be taking. The other consideration is just generally how you feel. So, um, but first a little more on the actual dosing. Uh, so um, usually on average, uh, uh, somewhere between 1 cc and 0.4 cc's is about average. Uh, now there's a pretty big range uh, between that. And this is 200 milligrams per ml. So, uh, you know, 0 0.4 is sort of a lower dose. 1 cc is a higher dose. I do have, you know, a few people that need 1 cc, but it's pretty few and far between. Uh, I'd say maybe 10, possibly 15% of my patients that take testosterone need that much. Most of them are on the 0 0.5, 0 0.7 uh, range. And, you know, this can vary at any given time too, based on how much you're exercising, how much your how much stress is in your life and things like that. So that gets into like how you actually feel when you're on it. So you're not basically uh, treating the lab, you're treating how you feel. There is a sort of cap on that uh, where you wouldn't just, okay, we'll take as much as you want until you feel good. Um, no, you would go to the upper end of the free testosterone and looking for improvement in things like sex drive, libido, and energy, but you wouldn't go you know, above the uh, Upper, refer, upper end of the reference range for your free testosterone, um, which would be around 200 to 240. And uh, some people feel actually worse on that upper end. And so you have to pay attention to things like your stress level, your sleep, and things like that. If those things are getting disrupted or you feel worse on higher levels, uh, that may be something to pay attention to. You can even start to get blood sugar imbalance if the cortisol is getting too high. So it's not always good to just go to the upper end because you think that's where you're going to perform the best. It's not always the case. 
Sometimes it is, uh, many times it is, but not for everyone. So keep that in mind. And then when you're checking your testosterone, you should be checking your levels in the middle of the week. Uh, so this gets into dosing. So how? So I also wanted to talk about dosing uh, and how frequently you take your injection of testosterone. So typically, you know, in a seven-day cycle, your testosterone will start. Uh, probably do it over here will start to go up at day 24 hours, maybe 48 hours. It'll start to rise after your injection, and then it's going to start to come down around seven days. Um, sometimes people seem to get a spike, and then it comes down quicker, and that could be you know, that they're just metabolizing it quicker. Um, and so in those folks, we usually will do it twice a week, so every 3.5 days. So you basically do a smaller dose every 3.5 days. You'll only know this if you're checking the levels uh, frequently enough uh, to understand, you know, what's happening in between. Uh, and then, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, I find that uh, people are checking their testosterone basically right before they get their injection. So you're missing everything that happens in between here, including high estrogen. Uh, that estrogen will trail the testosterone maybe by a day or so. So, you know, if you are, uh, your peak of your testosterone is day three, four, five, uh, your estrogen is going to be peaking, uh, around that as well. Uh, so you want to be checking your uh, estrogen levels in the middle of your injection. When you're doing it twice a week, it doesn't seem to matter as much, but um, you want to avoid checking uh, when you're supposed to do an injection because then you're kind of looking at the trough levels. So that's what I wanted to say about dosing and dosages. So Hopefully this video gives you a better understanding of how much and how often you should be taking your testosterone as well as when you should be checking your levels. If it does, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.